In the field updates on Market Journal are supported by the Nebraska Corn Board. We're heading out and in the field once again, let's check in on crops in central Nebraska. Bryce Duskett brings us the latest. We're just north of Lexington, Nebraska for this week's In the Field Update, visiting with Don Beatty. Tell me a little about the farming operation. Well, I'm a family farming operation. We've been here in this location for 151 years, the family has. So I'm real fortunate and I'm nearing the end of my tenure as head farmer. I'm gonna turn it over to my daughter in, in a couple of years. Primarily corn and soybeans, but we're standing in a wheat field. Wheat looks really good. Wheat looks phenomenal this year. It's been a good wheat year for wheat. Uh, we started getting rotating into some irrigated wheat about four years ago. Uh, makes a nice rotation for the corn and soybeans. You know, we're talking about trying to pencil it out in comparison to corn and soybeans, but you use it as a forage. You bale the straw, able to find a market for that in the area? Right, we can bale the straw, find a market to feed lots, then we grow some forage sorghum after that, bale that off, and uh, it gives us a different rotation. And our corn yields the next year are usually 10 to 15% higher. Uh, it just makes a nice rotation for the crops. Let's talk about your, your corn and soybeans. Most recently, you were replanting a field of soybeans. What happened that led to that? Uh, after some of the rainfall, we think we probably started a little bit too soon and uh, compacted the seed when we planted. So we had a, just one small field we had to replant. And that's been pretty common in the area. There's a lot of the neighbors have had to replant a field or two of corn or a field or two of soybeans, uh, just the way the spring has been. In general though, pretty darn good spring for moisture. It's been a good spring for moisture. We've had more rain uh, through the last part of April and May than we did all of 2022. So it's been, a, I'm, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> you, uh, you do quite a few of different on-farm research projects in conjunction right. with the university and different partners. Tell me about a study you're in particular you're doing this year that's interesting to you. Uh, Probably one of the ones I'm, I'm we're doing a, uh, a fungicide test on different timing of fungicide applications and whether or not fungicide even pays, whether you see disease or not. So we're going to be applying fungicide at probably two to three different times throughout the summer on a, um, both corn and soybeans. And this is in conjunction with Corteva and the university both. Do you suggest ag producers uh, be part of the on-farm research network? The on-farm research network is awesome. You get uh, the university's expertise on how to run a trial and you get to try things on your own farm, doing your own ideas. And it's a great thing to do. So contact your local extension educator and they'll sign you up. We're visiting with Don Beta today, just north of Lexington, Nebraska for this week's In the Field Update.